to all of you, to all of our visitors, to all of the saints of the Most High, uh, to the mighty um, happy warriors, pray for me. We were at the clinic yesterday, and three women changed their minds and decided to, to keep their babies, to let their babies live. What a, what a day. What a day. Two of the three were two girls in the same car. Two in the same car uh, came to have an abortion. I guess they were going to do it on the buddy plan. But you know what happened? Preaching got them. And, and, the, and the people, they prove to us all the time that our preaching is not in vain because they come out of the clinic sometimes yelling at us, telling us to shut up and to be quiet. That means they hear us while we're there in there. And uh, uh, yesterday we joined hands and began to sing at the clinic, We Shall Overcome. This is Black History Month anyway. And uh, they called the police. Police, uh, we shall overcome. So how you gonna, how you gonna arrest the singing, we shall overcome? <laughs> and when the police showed up, I told the officer, I said, oh, they called him. So officer, we're glad to see you. They're killing people in there. <laughs> Go in there. They're killing people. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. In my heart, down in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Hey, officer, how you doing? Good, We're man. glad to see you, dog. They're killing babies in there, and they, they, they want you to think they just, they just stepped back there after they put the call in. Now, they, they, they're always down here, standing here, making all kinds of noise, being mean. They call you, and then they pull back like little lions, like little lambs. Now, officer, we, we're not armed. We don't cuss. Yeah. We don't have a gun, a knife, or anything. We we arm with our vocal cords, and we have a message. And our message is a simple one: let the baby live. Yes. We don't go in there. We don't hit anybody. We do all we can to get people's attention so they can talk to us. We have committed ourselves to: if the lady decides to give birth, yes, we will help. We will we will spend money. We will give support. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. I hear you yes, sir. We're, we're just here to make sure that no crime is occurred. That's right. Yes, Ain't no, that's the only crime that's been occurred is in there. Right Thank you, officer. Hello. <laughs> we shall overcome. I praise the Lord for all of the workers. Um, but yes, yesterday in particular, um, after the two sisters left, one of them... Uh, waved at us with one finger. We wave at five, with five, they wave back with one. <laughs> you can imagine which one it is. So after they flipped us the bird, <laughs> brother working with me, he felt bad. He said, she flipped us the bird. I said, that's good. We don't care. They're leaving. Just want them to leave. That means the gospel got to them and it agitated them. And you know, how many know that God is stronger than technology? Yeah. Bring me up a little bit. They got down to the street, and they, they weren't from here. And they, um, the street they were trying to get to, all you had to do was turn left and turn right, and the street was right there. How about this? The GPS couldn't find the street. So while they were trying to get the GPS to work, they let their windows down, and there stood evangelist Margaret Hamilton and evangelist Vicky. 
um, Adams. And so we come here to say to our sisters, hey, we've got resources. We can help you. We have help with housing. We've helped with food. We've given baby showers. We want the women to know you are not alone in this fight. As a single parent, I've had some hard, hard, hard times myself, and the Lord Jesus Christ has seen me through. And so I want to share my testimony. I want to share my story. And all of the women here, we're all sharing our stories of how Jesus has come in on time, and he's made a way for us and our children. And they begin to share with those young ladies. And the ladies, they screamed out with authority. Ain't nobody gonna have no abortion in this car today. We are gonna keep our children. We got so happy. We got so happy. And then they prayed with them and they received prayer and they left laughing and smiling and praising God. Isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So we thank the Lord. And while we were doing that, you know, people said, well, that's more than abortion. That's not the only thing. It is if you're the one who's aborted. Um, everything stops there. But we check more than one box on a regular basis. The Upper Room Food Pantry uh, fed 113 families, a total of 346 individuals just yesterday. God is good. We check boxes. We check boxes. We invest in our young people. We have a full-time youth pastor. We invest thousands in our youth department every year because our young people matter. That's another box that you can just check. You know, and I thank the Lord for the saints and the workers.